there will be a stuff a bus event in York tomorrow that will benefit the kids at the Maine Children's Cancer Program. It got started three years ago because of a bus driver who wanted to do something to help a student on her bus route. It does take a little while to warm up, yeah, for sure. Morning bus pickup is a chilly routine during the month of December. Just about an hour. But it's the affection Liz Karamahalis gets from the students in her rear view mirror. Hand it to me or they'll get on the bus in the morning and hand me something. That warms her heart. Bus driver appreciation week. You pick kids up in kindergarten and they go right through high school. Mm -hmm. Same kids. The thank yous Liz gets from students inspires her to find ways to give back. I am. See you later. Three years ago, that help was extended to 15-year-old Jackson Forbes when he needed it most. He had Ewing sarcoma, which is a, it's a type of bone cancer. Not the diagnosis Annie Forbes and her family wanted to hear from their son's doctor. It was really hard. It's still hard, you know, just looking back on it. But, um, you know, you just sort of, you get put in a situation and you just kind of, get through it and you do what you need to do. Jackson got through his chemotherapy and radiation treatments with his family by his side. But how does his bus driver come into play? Liz organized a stuff the bus event to benefit Jackson. Though he's now cancer free, she's continued to stuff her bus for the Maine Children's Cancer Program. It's really good. They bring the carts out and the kids just kind of make a big train of handing out, you know, putting the gifts on the carts and bringing them in. and. Liz collects toys for the younger patients, as well as electronics and gift cards for teenagers who are often overlooked during the holidays. They get a little ocean view in the morning. Donations that will help brighten the mood of a child with cancer, like it did for Jackson and his family during his treatments. Maybe forget about what they're having to go through that day. I think that's, that's important. It's a great event, and bus drivers, I mean, they do I think, you know, they sometimes don't get enough recognition for the work that they do. Absolutely. They're safely getting our kids to and from school. Right. And this year's Stuff of Bus will take place tomorrow from 9 to 6 at the Fisherman's Dock on Route 1 in York. When we return, the Icelandic Electronica DJs, Hermagerville, or I said that wrong, <laughs> Hermagerville <laughs> Bursden will be in the studio. That's a hard one. They play to packed audiences in Iceland and Europe. They are here for the fifth annual Scandinavian Northern Lights Festival, and we brought them into the studio. Hear their music and a conversation about the similarities to Iceland and Maine when we return.